Hey, what's up guys? Wolf's Garage here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove old wheel weights, replace them with new ones, and most importantly, prevent them from falling off in the future. And I say that because when I came back from the track recently and I pulled off my wheels to swap them, I noticed some of the wheel weights were about to fall off. Alright, so looking at the wheel here, you can see the wheel weights on the inner side of the tire are intact and completely fine. But when you look at the ones on the outer side, they are just about to fall off. And I'm pretty sure it's because they're closer to the caliper, which gets extremely hot when you're on the track. And this is consistently the same on my other wheel, as you can see here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull off these old wheel weights and replace them with new ones. But before doing that, I'm going to make sure that the surface is all nice and clean. And I do want to mention that generally, you'd be better off taking this to the wheel shop and getting it fixed and rebalanced. But in my case, I had spare wheel weights available and I didn't want to bother scheduling an appointment, so I did it myself. Now that the wheels are nice and clean, I'm going to mark where the old wheel weights are with some painter's tape. A good portion of the wheel weights were nearly about to fall off so it was very easy to remove them by hand. But for the other ones, I used some needle nose pliers wrapped with painter's tape to make sure I don't scratch the paint on the wheels and uh, it was pretty easy to pull them off. To remove the leftover double sided tape, I used an eraser wheel. You can pick these up online for about 10 bucks and you can use it coupled with a drill. All right, so this rubber eraser wheel actually works really good. Problem is, because of how the uh, spoke is angled, I can't get all the way in to remove all the residue. Actually on this side, I got it. I got majority of it off, but I can't fit the wheel into this crevice here to remove the remaining amount. So looks like I'm gonna have to use my fingers to get it out. Now I'm gonna try to rub the rest off with alcohol. All right, it's all clean now. And now we're ready to install the new wheel weights. Make sure it's aligned exactly the way the old ones were. To prevent the wheel weights from falling off again in the future, I picked up some aluminum tape from Harbor Freight. And if you go to the track often, you're definitely going to want to put this on your wheel weights because sooner or later, they will fall off just like mine. The aluminum tape should do a good job as a heat shield as well as additional adhesive to hold it in place. So that's it guys, hope you found this helpful, if you did, make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for future videos, I'll see you guys in the next one.